started out originally that it was every year. Then at year 10, they decided to go every other year. That didn't work out, so now they're back to every year. This one's, so far, has been a little bit smaller than the first 10, but I'm hoping we'll just get back to Do you think it's smaller due to the pandemic and stuff, or just? I think possibly. I think there's a lot of, I mean, two years without it. Now it's it's back and people are like, oh, is it back? The COVID's still here, so yeah. probably a little hesitant still. Yeah, I get that. What's been your favorite project so far that you've seen? Well, the bears outside are really cute, mm -hmm. and there's a poet upstairs at the uh, Ford Museum. It's just kind of it's the incredible. You just give him one word, and poof, he comes up with a poem. Really? I don't know how anybody can do that in ten seconds, but he does. Uh, so that's that pretty really impressive. Cool. Yeah. Where do you think art price is going in the future? Do you think like it's going to grow even more? Or? I hope it does. After people have gotten the sense of it's safe again and it's more popular and it is every year again, they'll just get more and more soft. Sweatshirts and t-shirts are soft because it's the mitten state now and hopefully it'll just keep getting bigger. Why did you to create this piece? Last year I had a very heavy piece on environmental habitat loss and critically endangered animals and everybody left really sad and emotional and after two and a half weeks of watching that I didn't want that to happen this year so I thought what was the happiest thing I could do? So the dogs, I see dogs walk by here all the time, all day, every day and um, I started taking photos of all of them and um, just thought it would make a fun collection and everybody would be happy and they do and that's really fun. So some of these dogs I've met and some of them I have no idea who they belong to or where they came from. So with the dogs, which dog is your favorite breed? Well of course it's my dog. Oh, what type of dog do you have? I have a rescue. She's oh. a lab pit mix. Oh yeah. cool. What motivates you to create? Oh gosh. I am not really good with the spoken word yeah. or the written word. Um, I have always expressed myself through the arts. Um, I started as a musician. I was classically taught pianist. I have two degrees in music. And I still play, but um, when I was in graduate school, I started painting with my grandmother um, every Friday just to hang out with my grandma and kind of spend time with her. And that just developed into a love of the visual arts. And I've done paintings and sculpting and welding. and. Um, it's just been another way of expressing myself. So, what techniques do you use to overcome like creative blocks with your art? That is another good question. Um, honestly, I do a prompted watercolor prompt every morning. And by prompted, I mean I don't pick what I'm going to paint. Like today's prompt was pebbles. So I painted some stones in um, And then yesterday's prompt was lightning. So these are things I wouldn't normally pick to paint. It keeps my drawing skills up to par. It keeps me not afraid of the blank canvas just because I'm creating something brand new every morning. It's, I use it as my warm up. I don't spend more than an hour on it. And it just really has helped me get over that fear of a new project. Oh, that's really cool. And then for our final question How is art important to society? Art is so important for the people's well being and their emotional well being. Um, if you could be having one of the worst days of your life and you see a piece of art and you bring a smile to your face and you change your attitude, it can spark memories that you've long lost 